I'm Jessica Carson. Welcome to this special edition of the Sound Post Sessions. I am in downtown Longmont in the Creative District at Joanna Rose Giddings Studio called Obra Arts. We will talk to her a little bit later in the show about some of her art and what's been going on in the Creative District. If you donate to today's show, every $10 you donate puts you into a drawing to win this. It's a $100 gift card that you can spend here at Obra Arts in Old Town Marketplace in Longmont. Our musicians today are Taylor Sims of many bands. He um, originally, I knew him from Spring Creek Bluegrass Band. Then it was Bonnie and the Clydes, and now it's Everybody Loves an Outlaw. They have gained quite a bit of notoriety in the last few months. We will also have Monica Marie on the program today. We're excited to have her back on the show because she played the very first Soundpost sessions when we were still doing live and in-person shows back back in the day. Um, she will be coming out with a solo album um, later this year, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. She's also in Honey Tree, which is a duo with Eric Wiggs. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, to the Creative District for making this show happen. Um, they very generously created grants for artists and musicians um, to keep working in this strange time. So the Creative District grants funded today's show. So thank you to them. We also have two downtown Longmont gift cards. And I want to tell you about our Patreon. If you check out the Soundpost sessions on patreon.com, we have been putting up content from online shows as well as shows that we did live. So you'll get archive material and new material. And the next two people to sign up for Patreon will get downtown Longmont gift cards. So thank you for joining us and enjoy the show. Crystal blue medallion hung down upon her breast. She played an old guitar and drove a beat up car. She started heading west. Her heart on fire, just like the hills of California. I her dreams were as high as the mountains tall. Eliza was her name. She'd stay up late and listen to the all-night radio dancing with the shadows on paper walls bathed in the midnight glow cause there's nothing like a melody to take you far away her dreams were as high as the mountains tall Liza was her name Liza Now the night is calm, the snow is falling, I guess I'd better go. There's more to see and there's more of me a little further down the road. I don't care who you used to be, I love you just the same. Her dreams were as high as the mountains tall, Liza was her name. Liza!
there's nothing left but a thrift store dress and a picture in a frame. The garden's gone to sea and the rest have gone insane. I can hear that whistle blowing on that never-ending train. Her dreams were as high as the mountains tall. Liza was her name. Liza was her name. y'all so much for tuning in here uh, to the sound post sessions I'm so happy to be a part of this um, with uh, great friends and and such a wonderful musical community here in Longmont and I'd like to uh, before I forget I'd like to thank our sponsors for this particular episode and these virtual sound post sessions um, I'd like to thank the downtown Longmont Creative District for sponsoring this this episode and and lots of other things that are going on here at the Sound Post Sessions. So uh, thank you for that. Um, all right. Well, um, I, I don't really have a set list as uh, you know, I'm a professional up here. And uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do next. Oh, I think I, I think I know what I'm going to do next. Well. I grew up down in Texas, in the panhandle of Texas, and uh, spent my formative years there, and it still means a lot to me. And uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Longmont, I'll, I'll never leave, but sometimes I get nostalgic, start feeling like home, missing my folks, and missing my family, and missing the countryside down there. And I wrote this song when I was in one of those uh, momentary laps and reason, I guess. I'm 
longing for Texas again. Down where the cottonwoods grow and the mighty Red River flows. From the hill country out to Big Bend, I'm longing for Texas again. From the And my final hour is drawing nigh. I won't be glory bound at the end. I'll be headed for Texas. I'll be longing for Texas again. Yeah, thank you so much. I uh, I hope you're you're clapping out there. I, I'm, I'm imagining it. I'm hearing it in my head. I'm trying to hear it. You know. All right. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get crazy here. I'm gonna try a brand new song. I actually just finished this um, today, and I'm gonna push myself a little bit out of my comfort zone. Cause usually I don't do this. Usually I excruciate over songs, but I'm not gonna do that. You guys are gonna get the the first the first taste here. this new song um so it doesn't have a title yet um i'm not sure what it's what it's gonna be but uh i'll try it for you right now i, I really hope you like it um thank you all so much for tuning into my portion of the show um i really appreciate being asked um and uh thank you so much to uh, everybody here in longmont and wherever you are listening to this or watching this um, I appreciate it. I hope it brings you joy and light, and uh, I wish you all the best in these crazy times that we're in, and we'll get through them as long as we stick together, and as long as our guitars are in tune, we'll get through it. All right, here we go. I saw Jesus on the corner of Main and 21st. I saw the devil in the pulpit trying to quench his thirst. I found God in the country underneath the stars. And I've seen the world and I found my girl playing on this guitar. And the rain came down. You will know the beast Cause you can feel him standing there You will know the stone was bleeding And the garden it was there And the rain came down The rain came down The rain came down The rain came down Thank you. 
We are bound for glory We just gotta make a quick stop in hell We are all the chosen ones But I bet you'd never tell We are bruised and broken But we wear it so damn well We're riding for that sunset On a broken carousel The rain came down I saw Jesus on the corner of Main and 21st. I saw the devil in the pulpit trying to quench his thirst. I found God in the country underneath the stars. And I seen the world and I found my girl on this guitar. All right, well, that's it for me. I'm Taylor Sims. This has been such a treat to spend these brief moments here with you. I hope you enjoyed these songs. And uh, uh, somebody else is coming up next that's far better than me. So stay tuned for that. I'm Jessica Carson, and I'm here in Old Town Marketplace in downtown Longmont with an excellent watercolor and who knows what other mediums that I just don't know about yet. Um, a wonderful artist here in her studio, and it's Obra Arts. Yes, tell us about your studio here. So I've been here in this building for three years, moved up into my own space um, this year, and Obra Arts, Obra is Spanish for a uh, piece of work. It could be a work of music, a work of art. Um, and the goal of my studio is to not only advocate for and produce and teach visual art, but also integrate Spanish into what I do because I'm bilingual and study in Spain and uh, it's a big part, all my works are titled in Spanish, so it's a big part of what I do. And um, with the studio, I have dreams to um, teach uh, bilingual classes um, in English and Spanish, so Spanish speakers who are learning English can practice their English and vice versa. So that's kind of the, the, the goal behind the whole thing. That's great. Um, tell us about some of these pieces back here. Before we got started, these caught my eye. And I love the theme that you told me about. So tell us your thought behind these. So this is a series that I started last year. Um, it's probably going to be a series of about 20 or 25 pieces altogether. And the theme is our connection to each other and to our natural world um, and physical connection. And with the advent of technology and how much we are um, spending time together virtually, um, our, I feel like a lot of our connection, our actual real physical connections are lost and are being lost. We're spending more time indoors. We don't take our shoes off and walk on the ground um, anymore. And physically we are actually not as connected uh, to our world as we used to be. And so that's this sprung out of that. And then with the advent of COVID, um, that has become even more um, uh, of a poignant subject, I think, for me, because um, we're all shut up in our houses and only are, are having any connection through technology and through virtual methods. So this, these, are, these pieces are the beginning of a series uh, about that. 
Do you, have you made any art during COVID? Has that inspired anything new from you? Um, a lot of artists kind of started making, you know, paintings of people with masks on and things like that. I kind of went the opposite direction um, and started making a, a piece of work on, that was complete fantasy. Um, I had had this story, it's kind of a legend or a myth, um, almost an origin story in my head for a, for a long time. And because my kids were home from school and I had to work at home a lot um, because I was helping teach them, um, help, helping them get through their digital classes, um, I'd sit my eight-year-old son up with the computer and I'd sit down with a little pad of paper. And so I started doing just one piece a day of um, illustrations of the story so I'd write a line and I'd do a piece every day and I have I'm up to about 67 pieces wow. that I've done for yeah. this legend and the story's not completely written yet and some of it's completely abstract and some of it's representational um, but it, all these pieces have to do with the story um, and every day I post on Instagram a next the next you know installment of the story and the next illustration so that's what I started doing just kind of I was thinking as an escape as something to open up and follow every day and just that's not about the virus it's not about what's going on right now because I think we all needed a little bit of escape from that so I'm also interested to know about your involvement in the creative district here in downtown Longmont um, if you've been to downtown Longmont recently, you'll know that there are barricades up and there's art on the barricades. And so some of the restaurants are using that for extra seating for their diners, um, just a little more room to, to have live music and keep having art outside. And I want to I wanna point our attention over here because you're in the Times Call for painting one of the barricades. So tell us a little bit about that. So um, I uh, participate on the Creative Districts Committee, um, which meets once a month and kind of is a brainstorming session and or planning session for what is going to be happening in the Creative District. And so when the barricades went up, I was actually across the street eating a burrito at Benny's with Sabrina Ellert, who's a um, yeah, <laughs> who's an artist in the building too? And I said, "Hey, wouldn't it be great if they let us, let us paint them?" And we had uh, a committee meeting that afternoon, and the LDDA, Kimberly and, and Mercedes with the LDDA, were so we're going to have artists paint murals on the barricades. And I <laughs> was so excited, um, so I couldn't wait to get started with that. So the next day, we had we kind of divvied them up and and decided on placement for them, and then we got busy recruiting artists and. Um, we pulled from the firehouse. There are several firehouse artists um, that are doing murals. And there was a stipend provided from the LDDA for that purpose. So they were paid for the work. Um, and then uh, we also pulled some just from general Facebook posts and word of mouth and things like that. But there are about 20 murals that are going up and some of them are still in progress. Some of them are finished. Um, but it's been a really fun um, addition to those barriers and then this weekend it's Saturday I know they're doing um, the LDDA is recruiting uh, from the public to do wheat pasting um, which is kind of like a paper mache kind of application on the barriers so the ones that aren't muraled on um, can be covered by other things and the, the community can participate and it's just a really great way to brighten them up and they'll be around till October um, at least that's the plan at this point so um, they'll be around for a while so you can come down and see some art and be outside um, and I know a lot of uh, artists at the firehouse and and just local artists here are putting up um, tents and having uh, art events on on Saturdays as well from now until at least the end of at least the middle of September it's going to be going on I think so there's a lot going on outside downtown awesome. yeah well Joanna Rose, Obra Arts, please come see her, come check out her art. She's in Old Town Marketplace. We're third in Maine, between third and fourth? 332 Main Street. Great, and she's, you come into Old Town Marketplace and she's upstairs, so come check her out. Ooh, yes, please tell us about that. Um, so um, this is a, a gift card 
that is for a hundred dollars that's going to be redeemable here um that i think f uh for donations made during this cast um you get entered to win a hundred dollar gift card and this can be used toward art itself or um toward a, a, a painting party or toward a, a watercolor lesson or what have you there's a lot to do here so it's redeemable here awesome yes so if you donate to the sound post session you will be entered into the drawing to win that hundred dollar gift card for Ober arts thank you again for joining us today and letting us come check out your studio it's beautiful i feel like i'm not going to leave today without something going home with me <laughs> So um, stay tuned. Up, up next, we have Monica Marie. Um, she is a wonderful, wonderful musician. She's in a few different projects, Honey Tree, Monocle Band, um, but you get the chance to see her solo. So stick around for that. And thank you to the Creative District for making today's show possible. Look at my hands, paper thin skin, soft from living my love. Look at my feet, always with me, terrified of the chase. Hello, gorgeous, hello, sweetie, love stays.
that is my song, Any Old Day. So nice to be playing for the Sound Post Sessions. I'm very excited to be here. And um, it's been an interesting time. But I have to say, I've really enjoyed all the baking and the time with my son, who is just over one years old right now. And last time I played the sound post sessions, I was actually pregnant with him. So um, kind of feels like I'm coming full circle just a little bit, which is really cool. Um, OK, I'm going to play. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of a love song. So I grew up in Colorado, Colorado Springs, and my husband also grew up in Colorado Springs. And we went to the same high school. And even though we weren't dating back in the time, like back in the day, we um, we were friends. And so this is kind of a, con a very condensed version of our love story. This is called Loving You. Sunny August, Colorado We were kids then I choke around my neck Your motorcycle But we were just friends Of all the places my little love song um it seems like when I was writing first writing music I wrote a lot of love songs and then I got way 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 far away from love music love music from <laughs> love songs and um it's nice to return back to writing about love um I think it's I think it's kind of followed the timeline of my life a little bit um all right I'm going to play a tune called River Song, and this song I wrote to just say that I, I see you, and I love you, and it's going to be okay, and it's really to address 
um, like deep, dark, heavy feelings that I think I know I experience and that I've witnessed the people I love experience. And, um, and this is, this is a song that I will be releasing, um, early September. So watch out for that. Um, okay. This is called River Song. River Song. Hey, just wanted to say thank you to the Downtown Longmont Creative District for sponsoring this wonderful program. And it's so cool that Longmont has a creative district. I'm so excited by that. Um, this town has just become a really little, you know, cool gem of the Front Range and I always love coming here and making music. So thank you, Sound Post Sessions. Thank you, Creative District. All right, I'm gonna try one more, okay? Um, so one of my first memories as a human <laughs> is sitting on my mom's bed growing up and her playing music to me and me just begging her to keep singing. Um, 
I would just ask her to sing the same songs to me over and over and over. Mama, sing to me. And um, I really wanted to write a song about this memory. And um, my good friend, Eben Grace, helped me write this tune. And um, it's all about that memory. And so this is called Mama Sing. in a brown house with blue trim on a big hill in sunny Colorado 1993 summer wind in my blonde hair the smell of stain and homemade beer from the porch I hear a sweet sound calling out to me I follow every note in her words dark honey and golden her hands are on a martin fingers on the strings I gaze into her hazel eyes she's singing towns like a lullaby her love it amplifies makes my heart ring ring mama sing sing my favorite song mama sing to Thank you so much. I am Monica Marie. Um, thank you, Tim and Jessica, for having me with the Sound Post sessions. And yeah, thanks. Oh, silly Joe, why do you run away? Trying my heart 
keep those evil things at bay. I miss him, I miss. I wake up to the sound of my love. Walking now. Thank you.